Welcome back to Anderson, South Carolina, the Carolina Four-Wheel Jamboree Nationals. Doc Riley and Jim Kramer with you as we go monster truck obstacle course racing. Bigfoot taking on Dungeon of Doom and Snakebite against Hollywood Hogan. Good matchups coming up here in the first one. Dan Runney behind the wheel. This should be good side-by-side -side racing, Jim. It really is going to be. You know, Doom set the best time in this qualifying pass. So Runny, you know, he knows that. So he knows he's got to drive a really close race, watch his corners. Any pressure on Dan Runny? I mean, after all, he is the world champion and everyone's gunning for him. Everybody's always gunning for that blue truck. You know, but here we got Fires drove a perfect race in the qualifying here, and he's going to use that against him. Well, as we can see right off the bat, Dan Runny gets a little hole shot right there. And now it's going to be catch-up time, but the corner's so very important. And Runny's around that corner, you know, making a great pass, you know, toward the back stretch there. He's down the back stretch. We've got the Dungeon Doom trying very valiantly to keep up. Once you play catch up with Dan Runny, though, you can be in trouble. It looks as if Dan Runny's going to put this one in his pocket. I'd have to say he sure did, by about a truck and a half. One of those situations where you've got to make sure you're on top of your ball game from start to finish, and there's none better than Dan Runty. The big foot forward right now, looking to move into the finals, and his time on the Trailmaster timing camera is a 20-23. Jim, that is the quickest time of the obstacle course this weekend. Yes, it is. Look at Doom. Very hard hitting that finish line. Really skyrocketing him right back up. He's a young guy, but he'll be back to play another day. Keep your eye on him. Good matchup right here with a couple of young, very aggressive drivers. Sky Hartley and Hollywood Hogan. And on the far side, Eric Meager in Snakebite. This will be a good one, and it may be decided right off the line. You know, Meager had a, had a kind of a tough qualifying uh, round there, and, and Hartley did quite well in his qualifying round. They've got a good hole shot as they both come off the line, almost mirror images. Boy, look out. Way too much air for Sky Hartley. Put too much muscle in that jump for sure. Meager doing a fine job around the corner. Very, got himself together over that jump, coming around the last cone. Hartley's just trying to flat track it here to make up time and just not having much luck. Meager, all he has to do to finish this race is to drive it straight. Sometimes you've got to go slow to go fast, and Eric Meager made it look so easy. On the replay right here, we will see, though, that Hartley has a little bit of a problem. Well, he does. Just way too much throttle over that first jump. You know, he, he's not considering his next obstacle, where Meager is at the obstacle, making a nice turnaround and keeping the front tire tires from pushing too hard through the turn. Hangs it out to the left a little bit. Hartley's way out here in left field trying to make up time. Just could not do it. Speaking of time, the Trailmaster timing camera shows you a 22-18 for Eric Meager. And where's Sky? Well, about a block behind. Nice show for the crowd, but didn't do him any favors on time. Well, now we move into final rounds of our obstacle course, getting a good look at the track here through the front windshield of Dan Runney's Bigfoot Ford. And this is going to be a good one here as they've got to put the ultimate test on the line. A good hole shot, good over the obstacles, a good turn at the other end, and, of course, a lot of horsepower, but keeping it on the ground. Eric Meager on the far side in snake bite. Near lane is Dan Runty. And, Jim Kramer, this should be a great race. I think Meager's in the lane he, what he likes. Runny's got there. He's a little bit behind Meager. You know, Meager did a fantastic job in the turn before. Runny seems to be bouncing around. The technique he used before it seemed to work for him. Both seem to be neck and neck. This is a really close race. Coming into the final turn right here around, it looks like they're dancing almost. They're turning together. Meager's out in front at this point. Runny's coming on fast in the air. Absolutely. It was anybody's ball game right there. Snake bite the winner, Eric Meager, on the obstacle course. And again, so very, very smooth on all of his turns and every single thing that he had to do, he did right. And actually kind of forced Dan Runny into playing a little bit of catch up in that situation. Let's go back and take a look at it through the Dan Runny cam. Runny's off the line. You see him fight the stream a little bit. That thing is really all over the track. He's got a lot to do right here, folks. He's got to get it down. See the cone on your right hand side. He's got to shift, adjust the throttle around the corner. This kind of affords him a little bit of a peek at his, his competitor over there to see what he's doing. He's got to straighten back up, get the rear steering straight. He's got to be right for this jump because he's got to set up for the last cone. You always got to think one obstacle ahead when you're monster truck racing. A lot to do in that cab. He's a very busy boy. He sees Meager out in front. This is a very good position for him. He knows he's got to take this cone tight, and he did. It looks like he almost ran over it again. And that's got to put he's a little added pressure on him to play some catch up. Yeah, but he's straight now, and now he can really blast it. And here he goes, guys. You see the foot's down, he shifted. He's in the air, he's along for the ride now. Just along for the ride at even a half speed, you can see how busy these guys are in their office during the weekend. Dan Runny working the steering wheel and also working the throttle. For Eric Meager, his winning time, a 21.46.